today I'm going to be, hey, it's Victoria, and today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of summer. First, the good things about summer. So, the pros of summer. The first pro of summer is you get to go on mission trips. Second pro for summer is you're away from all the annoying people from school. That's a big plus. And the third pro is you get to sleep in longer. That's so good. We don't have to wake up at 6 a.m. or 5.30 or even earlier. Or early. <laughs> to some people. And the fourth pro, fourth and final pro of summer is you get to spend more time with your church friends if you go to church. And I really enjoy spending time with my church friends and my school friends, but this during the summer is just about church, basically. <laughs> and now for the cons. The bad things about summer is you first con is you're away from all your favorite people. That's sad. Second con. Second con, you're away from your best friends at school. That's really sad. You, I know you can hang out with them, but most par some parents won't let you hang out with their kids. Just being overprotective. It's crazy. And third and final pro of summer. I mean, con. Third and final con of summer is... That there's, most of the time, there's nothing to do. And that, after a while, that gets boring. And at school, you had something to do, basically, eight hours. It's just stating a fact. Bye! Have a great rest of your day. And give it a thumbs up. And comment what you liked about this video. Thank you.